praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It is the perfect day that Jesus has given to us this day, 20th day of August 2021. 20th day of August 2021. Bringing the word of the Lord to you through our Open Heaven devotional today written by Father-in-law, Pastor E. E. Adeboye. What a great privilege of life to have access to the word of God and be blessed. Today we shall be looking at the topic, Jesus, the peacemaker. Jesus, the peacemaker. The Lord will bless us as we listen in Jesus' name. Shall we please pray? Father, we bless your holy name. Lord, we give you praise. Thank you for bringing peace into our lives. Peace that money cannot buy. Thank you for reconciling us unto the Father. Thank you for being there for us when all hope seems to be lost. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Lord, as we go into your word today, send peace to all our homes. Send peace to all our schools. Send peace to the land that we are in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you because you will do something new in our lives. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Give us hearing heart, heart of understanding. In Jesus' name, we prayed. Amen. Amen. Jesus, the peace maker. Our memory verse is taken from Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. It says, For us, for unto us, a child is born. Unto us, a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. And our Bible reading will be taken from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse, verse 17, 18, and 19. It says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. And all things are of God who has reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and has given to us the ministry of reconciliation. To wit that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not in putting their trespasses unto them, and had committed unto us the word of reconciliation. He has committed unto us the word of reconciliation. May the Lord bless us in the name of Jesus Christ. When sin came into the lives of Adam and Eve, you remember Adam and Eve? They are the first parents that God put in the Garden of Eden. They forfeited that cordial relationship with the Lord God Almighty. Why? Because they sinned. They were separated from the blissful presence of their Creator. It was a great loss. They were enjoying the blessing of the Lord, the presence of the Lord, until they were deceived in Genesis chapter 3, and they were sent out of that garden. The interesting thing that many may not believe is that God wants man to come back into fellowship with him. You can even read from that Genesis that there's going to be a seed coming. The seed of this man is going to break your head. It's going to trash your head. From that moment, redemption plan was conceived. He wants men to come back to him, to have fellowship with him. However, God's holiness prevents him from beholding iniquity, as we see in Isaiah chapter 59, 1 to 2. Isaiah chapter 59, 1 to 2. The Bible says, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, that he cannot save. Neither is he heavy, that he cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear, that he will not hear. Our sin separates us from God. He wants us to have fellowship with him, but our sin, our iniquity, we separate us from God. Very, very important. Habakkuk 1, 13 says, the eyes of the Lord are pure to behold iniquity. Pure eyes to behold iniquity. So if sin is the one dominating our lives, automatically we are far away from his presence because of his holiness. So to bring about 
this reconciliation, therefore, God had to make the sacrifice of giving his only begotten son to die for us on the cross of Calvary. Said John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son to die for us without sin. He was without sin. 2 Corinthians 5, 21 says, he who know no sin was made sin for us that we might become the righteousness of God in him. So in Christ Jesus, sins of the world were forgiven. He said, we have an advocate in him that he covered, he, he forgave all our sins. He covered it, he made it possible for God to say, propitiation is easy, atonement is easy, you can be free from sin, you can be free from guilt. In 2 Corinthians 5.19, 2 Corinthians 5.19, he said, to wit that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and had committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Has committed unto us the word of reconciliation. So we have been forgiven. He has taken all our sin. He, he, everything was nailed on, he, on the cross of Calvary so that we can be free. So why do you want to die in your sin when someone has already taken care of it? It's just for you to go to him and say, I give my life to you, give me righteousness. I give my life to you, give me peace. You are the prince of peace, give me peace. You are the peacemaker, give me peace. The wall of partition has been broken down, give me peace. Let me have access to the Father. That's why Jesus Christ himself said in John 14, verse 6, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He said, no one comes to the Father except through me. In Acts of Apostles chapter 4, verse 12, he said, there's no other name that I've been given unto men to be saved. They said that name, Jesus Christ. So he's the one that brings about peace, reconciliation between God and man. So before Jesus Christ was crucified on the cross, he said, come unto me, all ye that labor that are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Matthew eleven twenty-eight 28 to 30. I will give you peace, I will give you rest. But still, people run away from someone that wants to give them peace, that wants to give them rest. May the Lord give us understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. In John chapter 7, verse 37, he said, If any man test, let him come unto me and drink. If any man test, let him come unto me and drink. Still, many still reject this offer. Many of us that we are born again today, when we look back, we thank God for that grace that appeared to us that time, that moment, that we are received into the blessing of the Lord through salvation of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our memory verse says, blessed be the peacemakers. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Matthew chapter 5 verse 9. So, now, to make peace with God, therefore, one must acknowledge his sin as well as confess and forsake them with a promise not to go back to the life of disobedience. With a commitment, you must acknowledge your sin with a commitment not to go back to your sin. The Bible says, he that covereth his sin shall not prosper, but he that confesseth and forsaketh shall have mercy. May the Lord give us peace and mercy in Jesus' name. A new life is expected of anyone who has accepted the peace that living in Jesus Christ brings. The Bible speaks of publican in Luke 18, 13, thus, as the publican standing far off would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote upon his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me as a sinner. That is the most modest prayer anyone can pray, God, be merciful to me as a sinner, or God, help me as a sinner. He could not even raise his head. Just say, God, have mercy on me. Making peace with God also requires breaking away from the past misdeed and making right our wrongdoings, like in the case of Zacchaeus. Like in the case of Zacchaeus. What did he do? Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I have given to the poor, and if I have taken anything from any man by false acquisition, I restored him fourfold. Luke 19, 8. 
He said, I restore to him in four folds. He ran to climb that sycamore tree just to make sure he had access to Jesus. When Jesus saw him, he said, come down, Zacchaeus. Today, salvation comes to your family. Salvation comes to your home. What effort are you making to move closer to the Prince of Peace, to the one that can make peace, that can give you peace? This is proof of genuine repentance and reconciliation. We have reconciliation, repentance, we have restitution. This is played out from this story of Zacchaeus. Because it is the Lord that brings about peace to our lives. Immediately, the middle wall of partition was broken down. He said, it is finished. We can assess the Father. So, we are guaranteed peace when we walk with him. We are guaranteed peace when we surrender to him. Because he is the Prince of Peace. And he's able to make all things peaceful around you. He said, come unto me, all you that labor, and I will give you rest. The prayer point today says, Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace, please remove any barrier between me and my Heavenly Father. Lord Jesus Christ, permanently reconcile me to God the Father. That is what he has come to do. The Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5, he said, there is no any other man that is the mediator between God and man except Jesus Christ. So I want you to pray and say, Father, grant me access to my Heavenly Father. Through Jesus Christ, today, in the name of Jesus, Lord, the Prince of Peace, remove any barrier between me and my Heavenly Father today, in the name of Jesus Christ. Remove every form of barrier between me and my Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Remove every barrier between me and my Heavenly Father. And in the name that is above every other name, I have peace in Jesus' name. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. What are we saying today? Jesus is the peacemaker. He's the one that reconciles sinners with the Holy Father to make them to become saints. The Holy Mediator. Also, in 1 John chapter 2, in 1 John chapter 2, the Bible makes it clear. It says, My little children, this thing I write unto you, that you may not sin. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. And he is the propitiation of our sins, and not for us only, but also for the sins of the whole world. He is the advocate, the propitiator. He's the one that reconciled us, the peacemaker, to the Father in heaven. And today, many of us are enjoying the benefits of salvation. May you understand today the essence of Jesus being the peacemaker in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Our memory verse once again says, Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. That is our memory verse today. May the Lord give you understanding in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Our hymn is in 28. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and grief he bears. What a friend we have in Jesus. The Lord Almighty God, we continue to bless you. We continue to pour his peace upon you because you have been reconciled to the Father. May you not be disconnected from him in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Let me pray with you. Especially if you are not born again, I want you to consider Jesus. I want you to acknowledge him today. I want you to believe that he can give you peace, eternal peace, and your life will never remain the same. Father, we thank you for as many that are opening their hearts to receive you today. Thank you for your faithfulness in their lives. Thank you for your blessing. Please accept our worship in Jesus' name. This day, let the peace of peace, Jesus Christ himself, command peace that cannot be corrupted to be upon them in Jesus' name. Let their name be written in the book of life in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. It is well with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Never you forget 
It is only in Christ Jesus you can have peace. No other place. Only in Christ Jesus you can have peace. And the Lord will bless you as you do so in Jesus' name. God bless you. What a friend we have in Jesus All our sins and griefs to bear What a privilege to carry Everything to God in prayer Oh, what peace we often fall So faithful, who will all our sorrow share? Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in Thank you.